Hey guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you an easy acoustic version of Edge of Desire by John Mayer, which is a beautiful song. I'll also teach you how to play the main riff as well. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you want to learn how to play the studio version of this song with all the electric guitar parts and the guitar solo, I also have a lesson for that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzeritohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Now, I'm going to start by teaching you how to play the main verse riff. Now, you can play this main verse riff, but it will be tricky for some, and a lot of you out there will just want to strum some easy chords. So, I'll show you the easy chords later in this video. You can skip this if you want but here's how you play the main verse riff. And John actually plays this main verse riff when he's playing the acoustic version live. So you're gonna to need to use your thumb here to hit the fifth fret of the sixth string. And then get your ring finger ready on the seventh fret of the fifth string and your middle finger ready on the sixth fret of the fourth string. So you're gonna go sixth, fifth, fourth, back to fifth. And then with your index finger, fourth fret of the third string. And then we end on the sixth fret of the fourth string with your ring finger. So this bar in total. Now, this whole riff is palm muted as well. So you're gonna take the fleshy bit of your palm, rest it lightly on the edge of the bridge, and you're gonna palm mute each note, which will sound like this. Now for the second bar, we go sixth string, fifth string, and then we go to the fourth fret of the fourth, then sixth fret of the third, fourth fret of the third string, and then we end on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So, and those two bars in total. It's a great little riff and actually a great exercise for your fretting fingers and your plucking hand as well. For the third and fourth bar, those two bars are just repeated through twice. And then for the fifth and sixth bar, we're gonna take the exact same pattern and shape that we played and move it up to a D position. So our thumb is no longer on the fifth fret, it's on the 10th fret, but all the notes around it are identical to what we had in this A position. So it will sound like this. And that's repeated through twice as well. So the first line is had. Then for our next line of tap, we're gonna go down to the seventh fret of the sixth string with our thumb. Then ninth fret of the fifth string, seventh fret of the fourth string, back to our ninth fret of the fifth, then up to the seventh fret of the third, and then ninth fret of the fourth string. So for the next bar, we go seventh fret, ninth fret, sixth fret of the third, then up one fret to the seventh fret, then ninth fret of the fourth, ninth fret of the fifth. So, and those two bars in total. Then we're going to bar our index finger across the ninth fret of the fourth, third, and second strings, and middle finger on the tenth fret of the second string. You're going to go open sixth string, fourth, second, back to fourth, lift your middle finger, second, and back to fourth. So. Then we're gonna go 11th fret of the third string, back to the fourth, and then 12th fret of the fourth string, 11th fret of the fourth string, 9th fret of the fourth string, and then end on the 12th fret of the fifth string. So that bar, and the two bars in total. The next two bars are identical to the first two bars in this riff. The next bar after that is nearly identical to the first bar, except instead of ending on the sixth fret of the fourth string, we end on the seventh fret. So, and then for the final bar, we take our pinky finger, seventh fret of the third string, back to the fourth, sixth fret of the third string, back to the fourth, and fourth fret of the third string, and back to the fourth string. So, so those last two bars.
and the whole riff in total. Now I'm going to teach you some easy strummed chords if that main verse riff is too hard for you. Now we're going to start with an A major, so you can play this as a regular A major like this, or you can play it like this. And this is the A major that I prefer for this particular song because it is closer to what John Mayer does when he performs this in an acoustic setting. So for this particular A major, ring finger on the 7th fret of the 4th, middle finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string, and index finger on the 5th fret of the 2nd string, and you leave the 1st string open. And ideally, if you can, use your thumb to hit the 5th fret of the 6th string as well. But that's not entirely necessary, you can just hit from the 5th string onwards. So that's our first chord, the A, and then we have a D major 7 sus 2. So to play that, it's just our middle and ring finger on the 2nd frets of the 2nd and 3rd strings, and we're strumming from the 4th string onwards. And then we have a B minor 11, so we're just going to take our middle finger and put it on the 2nd fret of the 5th string and ring finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. And we're strumming from the 5th string onwards, you want to keep that 6th string muted. So that's B minor 11, and then E major, and then back to our A chord. Now the strumming pattern that we're going to use basically throughout this whole song just goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up, and in succession. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now we're going to use the strumming pattern four times for each chord, with the exception of the B minor 11 to E major, where those two chords are played for two strumming patterns each. So the verse simply sounds like this. Now one little variation that you can add to this A chord when you're playing the verse is to add your pinky finger onto the 7th fret of the 3rd string and turn into an A sus4 chord. So. so you can add that in every now and then if you want. So let's say for example at the end of the chord progression. So just in one of the strumming patterns, preferably the second in my opinion sounds the best add that ASUS4 as a slight variation to the verse. And I'll be using that in the playthrough at the end as well. Next we get to the chorus, which is really simple. It's just a DSUS2. Or you can play a D if you want, but I prefer a DSUS2 here. And we're gonna strum that with four strumming patterns and then we go to the A. So it's really, really nice and simple. So the chorus sounds like this. and then you just repeat that again and again. Next, there's the break just before the bridge, and it's simply the A chord for four strumming patterns. And next we get to the bridge, and it's gonna start with an A chord, so you can either play it that A or this A. Then we go to an F sharp minor 11. To play that, ring and pinky on the fourth frets of the fifth and fourth strings, index on the second fret of the third string. You wanna leave your second and first strings open, and your thumb will reach over the top to hit the second fret of the sixth string. So that's F sharp minor 11. I'm gonna play that for four strumming patterns. Then we go to a D and then back to our A. For our second line chords, it's our A, F sharp minor 11, D, and then E major. Then for our third line of chords, it's back to our F sharp minor 11, D, and then A, and A again. So those A's are played for eight strumming patterns at the end of this bridge. So in total, it sounds like this.
And then we go back into the chorus and those are all the parts for this simple acoustic version. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerotohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.